Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three ways to align. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number 1. Number 1. Sheep. Number 2. Song. Number 3. Lunch. Number 4. Part. Number 5. Seas. Number 6. Go. Number 7. Bed. Number 8. Call. Number 9. Luck. Number 10. E. Test 2. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to align. I'm going to read one word from each line. By the word I read, there is a letter. Change this letter on your answer sheet. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 2 on your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11. Dark. Number 12. Bang. Number 13. Fail. Number 14. Watch. Number 15. Share. Number 16. Court. Number 17. Lab. Number 18. Three. Number 19, Stream. Number 20, Tent. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four ways to align. I'm going to read one word from each line. Instead of when I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 3 on your answer sheet. Start at number 21. Number 21. C. Number 22, Dime. Number 23, Pat. Number 24, Mother. Number 25, Bride. Number 26, Sing. Number 27, Flat.
test four. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. So the sentence I read, there is a letter. Show you this letter on your own session. Now get ready to answer the rest of test four on your own session. Start at number 28. Number 28. The girl was called by his bride. Number 29. Have you seen it again yet? Number 30. Depends on the face. Number 31. The man was stroking his bed. Number 32. The baby disliked the chair. Number 33. Who knows the team? Number 34. Please come along. Test 5. In this test, the word that you hear on the tape does not appear in your relay. That word only ranks in one of the words on the list. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 5 on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35. Pause. Number 36. Ah. Number 37, Blower. Number 38, Game. Number 39, More. Number 40, Armed. Number 41, Tell. Number 42, last. Test 6. You know, I'm going to hear some questions and answers. Questions were all bit different and the answer is always the same. You have to choose the one question which goes with the repeated answer. In the test would follow, you hear only the answer. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 6 on your own session. Start at number 43. Number 43. Adiza sells suppose at the bar stop. Number 44, because or did not try to teach. Number 45, the priest praised Mary yesterday. Number 46, Ghana always arrived late on Sunday. Number 47, they told the police about the word. Number 48, 
Ghana will celebrate their 50th independence anniversary next year. Number 49. Asamojan scored Ghana's first World Cup goal. Number 50. The 2010 World Cup Finals will be hosted by Africa. Number 51. The security men pregnated the woman. Number 52. By Redu, read the 2007 budget. Test 7. You are now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements of your question paper and decide which one of them is correct. Shade the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Now, get ready to answer the rest of Test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. You wish for me? Hurry up. Number 54, you're my dear wife. I am. Number 55, you stop misbehaving. I will. Number 56, I shall sponsor my nephew to study abroad this year. But there is no money. Test 8. You're now going to hear some short conversation between two speakers, a man and a woman, and a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will be played to you twice. Immediately after hearing each of them, you will have two questions. From your question paper, side on the correct answers. On your answer sheet, shade the space of the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation. Kodjo. Kodjo. Where is that Kodjo Kumsen? Yesterday, I would drew 5,000 Ghana cities from my account and kept it in my briefcase. There's neither a ghost nor a drive which has stolen my money. I would suspect no other person but Kodi Kumsen, a habitual thief. I must admit, I have regretted the very first day your mother conceived you in her womb. If I had ever dreamt of having such a notorious and ex thief like you, Kodi Kumsen, I wouldn't have prayed to God to grant me a male child. I have to blame you, yes, woman, I have to blame you. When I was going to the comfort room to eat myself, Josephine, you had a kitchen busily smelling the aroma from your meal. Why didn't you monitor the boy closely so that you could catch him red handed? We shall see. Stop blaming me. Stop blaming Peter. And blame yourself. Why did you employ me as a caretaker for money? Did I have to stop cooking and run after that notorious boy? Oh no, it's not just me. Have you forgotten the role you played in bringing up the boy like this? At the age of 10, why could you come since I'm a poor friend? Stealing coins from your pockets? Taking me from my soup? You did absolutely nothing to stop him from those acts. You treated Kodi like a king. Now, don't you remember the biblical principle which says that? Spare the rod and spoil the child? Take it easy, my dear. Listen to the conversation again. Kodi? Kodi? Where is that Kodi Kumsen? Yesterday, 
I would drew 5,000 Ghana cities from my account and kept it in my briefcase. There's neither a ghost nor a dwarf which has stolen my money. I would suspect no other person but Cody Crimson, a habitual thief. I must admit, I have regretted the very first day your mother conceived you in her womb. If I had ever dreamt of having such a notorious and a thief like you, Cody Crimson, I wouldn't have prayed God to grant me a male child. I have to blame you. Yes, woman, I have to blame you. When I was going to the comfort room to eat myself, Josephine, you had a kitchen busily smelling the aroma from your meal. Why didn't you monitor the boy closely so that you could catch him red handed? We shall see. Stop blaming me. Stop blaming Peter and blame yourself. Why did you employ me as a caretaker for money? You don't have to stop cooking and run after that notorious boy. Oh no, it's not just me. Have you forgotten the role you played in bringing up the boy like this? At the age of 10, why could your come since start a pearl friend? Stealing coins from your pockets? Taking meat from my soup? You did absolutely nothing to stop him from those acts. You treated Cody like a king. Now, don't you remember the biblical principle which says that? Spare the rod and spoil the child? Take it easy, my dear. Number 57. According to the conversation, number 58 from the conversation, we learn that narrative. One afternoon, I saw two old men sitting on the center of the Yas and Joa Square. I was not surprised to find them there at that time of the day. They sat silently drinking calabash with a calabash of palm wine and puffing at their pipes. The sudden burst of laughter from one of them startled most of us around. It was so unusual. Then I heard one of them say, Now, Jim, for as long as I've known you, people call you Window. Why? Jim took another sip of his drink and began to narrate his story. It started at the time I went to school. I was 18 years then. The headmaster took a look at me and shook his head. I was too big for class when he might have thought so. He said the class was already full and there was no spare furniture. Sir, I said pleadingly, my age shouldn't be an impediment to my coming to school. At my age, I can learn faster, be more serious in class and reason better. At home, I keep my younger brothers and sisters in line. So that when I see them look after these small boys and girls. The headmaster finally admitted me to being in school, but on one condition that I should not count myself as an official pupil of the school. I was then asked to place my chair closer to a window so that I could escape through should any school inspector come to the school. I accepted the offer and thanked him. From that time, my name became Window. Listen to the narrative again. One afternoon, I saw two old men sitting on the center of the Yas and Joa Square. I was not surprised to find them there at that time of the day. They sat silently drinking calabash with a calabash of palm wine and puffing at their pipes. The sudden burst of laughter from one of them startled most of us around. It was so unusual. Then I heard one of them say, Now, Jim, for as long as I've known you, people call you Window. Why? Jim took another sip of his drink and began to narrate his story. It started at the time I went to school. I was 18 years then. The headmaster took a look at me and shook his head. I was too big for class when he might have thought so. He said the class was already full and there was no spare furniture. Sir, I said pleadingly, my age shouldn't be an impediment to my coming to school. At my age, I can learn faster. Be more serious in class and reason better. At home, I keep my younger brothers and sisters in line so that my sister look after these small boys and girls. The headmaster finally admitted me to being in school, but on one condition that I should not count myself as an official pupil of the school. I was then asked to place my chair closer to a window so that I could escape through should any school inspector come to the school. I accepted the offer and thanked him. 
From that time, my name became Rindo. Number 59, according to the passage. Number 60, from the passage, we learn that 